Hey Capricorns, welcome to your June 2018 general reading. So we're going to be looking into the um, general energy for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so if this doesn't resonate with you, definitely check your Moon and Rising signs to see if that resonates better. Um, this will be general, so it probably won't hit for everyone specifically. But hopefully for the majority of you, I hope it does. And I hope it's able to give you guys some guidance. So, so far, um, June has been like a really positive month for a lot of people. I don't know if you guys are like starting new things, maybe traveling. I've been seeing that a lot for the other Zodiacs. Um, I'm seeing work here. But what's new for Capricorn, right? You guys are always working, <laughs> working on something. So um, hopefully you guys are maybe working on projects. That Three of Pentacles keeps coming out every time I cut the deck. So we'll see if it comes out during the reading, but I feel like you, a lot of you guys are either working on projects, um, studying, focusing on something, taking a break to really um, focus on building something. So let's see what comes out for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the month of June 2018. I'll fast forward this part and then put all the cards out and we'll go through it together, okay? So first card is going to represent the present energy for Capricorn. What's going on presently? Ooh, the hair fin jumped out. So some of you Capricorns could be dealing with a Taurus. If not, again, this could be talking about um, working on something with others. I feel like a lot of you guys, if you're not working in some kind of like charity or giving back or working with a really big company, coming together with like a big organization, um, a school as well, I feel like a lot of Capricorns are like dedicating their time to building something, to, bec to becoming, to become part of something bigger than what they've been doing in the past. So that's what I feel like June is going to be. It's going to be about uh, building yourself to another level, joining big organizations, big companies. So a lot of you could be getting jobs, going to school, universities, things like that. All right, Capricorn, so let's see what's going to be going on for June. I'll put all the cards out, like I was saying, and then we'll go through them together. So present energy, judgment. So like I was saying, you guys are making big decisions, final final decisions, life-changing decisions, okay? Um, there could be a lot happening as well. Um, you're going to have to make decisions. A lot of things are coming at you at once. Let's put the cards out. But you guys are moving forward to new, to new opportunities, new challenges, new directions in life. All right, so already what I'm seeing for the month of June for Capricorns is that this is going to be a time of decision making, but also conflict. Um, I feel like if it's not you who's conflicted, it could be people in your environment. I feel like there's this conflict or anxiety about either a new beginning, a new start, um, working on something brand new. You guys are very hesitant and you're feeling overwhelmed about it. Um, something presently could have happened with this judgment card. So either there's major shifts, major changes happening. Um, you're hearing about opportunities. And if it's not positive news, um, it could be negative news. But I'm saying if it's positive news, I feel like it's something that's very life changing, something that's also causing conflict around you. And it's becoming overwhelming to you. It's making you feel unbalanced. Um, it could also be negative news as well. But I feel like it's more of something that has to do with you. You guys are not feeling very confident about this new start, this new beginning that you are about to take, or the new direction that your life is going in. So judgment could also represent in a more... Um, like um, abstract ways, almost like karma or being judged or, you know, receiving karma. Um, you also have justice here in reverse, which is like a karma card. So judgment and justice. Um, 
if it's not you, it could be either the people around you, but you feel like there's some sort of like imbalance when it comes to karma or something that's happening to you at the present moment is not really fair or you're not happy with the way a decision went or the way something has turned out. Okay, and I feel like a lot of you guys may need to either move on and start again or start over and you're not happy about these changes, these new starts that are coming into your life. So for June, for a lot of zodiac signs, there's a lot of changes. A lot of, you know, people are being reborn, but I feel like the majority of them were kind of going through a tough time anyway, so they were happy for this change. They were happy for this shift. I feel like the shift is happening for Capricorn as well in June, but you guys don't seem as happy about it. A lot of you guys could feel like it's what's happening right now is not fair or it's not justified or it's bad karma, but either way, you guys are not happy with the decisions people are making or um, the, the direction, like I was saying, that your life is moving towards. Or this could just be like a lack of confidence. All right, so let's start clarifying and see exactly what's going to be happening for you guys in the month of, oh, these two cards fell out, but I didn't ask any questions yet, so let's see what, what's going to be happening, but let's see what Judgment is talking about here for Capricorns. So I want to find out why is Judgment here in the present situation for Capricorns? Why is Judgment here? Okay, Knight of Cups. He's here twice. He's also in your recent past. So this could represent a water sign from your recent past, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not, it's just representing a literal person. Um, some of you guys could be coming out of a relationship and starting on your own, and you're not happy about starting on your own. Um, or you guys are just... You've made a judgment call about a person... And I feel like there was a lot of conflict with this person and it just became too overwhelming for you. So this person could be an ex, it could be a family member, a friend, it could be anyone, which whatever best relates for you, right? This is a general reading, but if it's not representing you, which I feel like it's not, it's more of a person that you made a decision on, a final decision about. You're deciding to move forward into your near future, right? Because the Page of Wands is representing the, the near future for you. You're deciding to move forward because you're tired of conflict. This is representing your immediate environment. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of standing your ground with this person or having to defend yourself. Um, or this person could just be very defensive. But either way, you're, you're tired of the way things have been or the relationship that you had with this person. And you're moving forward, but you're also very hesitant about it. So since this has to do with the Knight of Wands, let's go ahead and jump into Knight of Wands. Let's clarify him and see what this energy is representing for you in your recent past. So what is the Knight of Cups representing for Capricorn in their recent past? The King of Pentacles. So it's still, it's, it's saying a person. So this is, you know, this could also be you, right? Because it's Earth sign energy. Um, this is, or this is just saying that it's a person. Either you are, I feel like in your recent past, for some of you, if it's not a person, then it just has to do with the direction that you, you were going in. Um, you've made a judgment to stop either pursuing something in the past and to move forward and do something different, but you guys are still um, not 100% confident about your, de your decision yet. All right, let's dig deeper. One more for the Knight of Cups. What's this recent past energy? Who is this person? What's this person? What's this person? Is this a person or Capricorn's journey? Okay. The Three of Wands in reverse. So again, this has to do with, like I was saying, with direction, with um, looking out and seeing what's ahead of you, what's out there. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just have made decisions to change your direction, change course. All right, so you could be changing course in job, relationship, where you live, whatever the case may be, you guys made a decision recently to change the course of the direction that you're heading in, pretty much. 
So that, like I was saying again, and then at the bottom of your deck, Knight of Pentacles, again, having to do with the course that you're going on, moving direction, changing where you are putting your efforts towards. You're moving in a different direction. Let's check the Seven of Wands in your challenge. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Ten of Wands, but um, in reverse. So like I was saying, you you're you're feeling a lot of you're feeling overwhelmed, burdened, um, a lot of anxiety. That's what's challenging you during this time. Okay, trying to release these burdens and release um, all of the tension and everything that's been happening to you. And I see that happening here in your immediate environment. So a lot of you of getting out of stressful situations because it's become too overwhelming for you. And you're ready to move forward um, in a different direction moving forward in um, June. So that's positive, right? Even though there's bad things going on or you're, the, the positive thing is that you're coming out of that. You're deciding to move in a different direction, in a more positive direction as well. You have justice here at the bottom of, of the deck in reverse. So again, I feel like you just feel like you were in a situation that was very unbalanced, unjustified, not fair. Or maybe you feel like this person did this to you. Or the situation you were in is just unfair and you are ready to move forward. This is you, Page of Wands, in the near future. What is the Page of Wands? That was quick. <laughs> Four of Swords. So that was coming out also when I was shuffling. So this is you moving towards peace, towards recovery. Um, even though your overall outcome here is the star in reverse, we'll find out why it came out in reverse, but you're, you're, the whole point of you changing direction and changing course is because you want to move towards healing, you want to move towards recovery, being calm, um, starting over in a new way, in a better way in June. One more for the page. What was that? We'll do that again. Can I get one card, please? Page of Wands. What's the Page of Wands? One card, Page of Wands. What's this energy? Okay. Queen of Cups. So again, like I was saying, getting back to a more emotionally balanced state, a calm state, um, feeling more in control. This is also like a self-nurturing state as well. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it for yourself, pretty much. You're doing it to recover, to, to regain your strength, to regain your, you know, sanity, your mental peace, and your emotional peace, pretty much. You just want peace. So that's the direction you're moving towards with the Page of Wands. You're moving towards peace, tranquility, um, recovery, and moving away from stress and anxiety. Let's see... I want to see justice. Why is justice here in your subconscious? What is justice representing in the subconscious? The emperor. So again, like I said, decisions. The emperor is a decision maker. He's someone in power, someone who has a very big ego, someone who's not easily swayed. Um, with this judgment card here, again, decision making. So this could be your energy as well, just making a decision about something that you feel is imbalanced, something that's not fair to you. And you've made a decision to move on, move in a different direction. So subconsciously, that's how you're feeling. Overall energy in June is Ace of Wands. Why is Ace of Wands here in the overall energy? Capricorn. Why is there energy Ace of Wands? Queen of Swords. So I feel like even though you've left a lot behind you, you haven't fully healed just yet to me the queen of swords represents someone who's like a little scorned because of past experiences so she's very um quick to lash out at people very quick to be on the defense a lot and that's the energy i'm getting from this card defensive so it's almost like you're being defensive about this new start or this new direction that you're going in. And that could be because you just feel nervous or um, anxious or worried about it. One more for Ace of Wands. 
one more for Capricorn for Ace of Wands. There's Ace of Wands here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this, a lot of you guys could be, like I'm saying, moving on your own. A lot of you could be moving out of a, a relationship and being on your own. Or you're very worried about your stability and if you can have your independence. If you're going to be able to make this um, transition and be happy and be stable and be independent and have everything that you want on your own pretty much all right media environment you have five of wands why is the five of wands here in the media environment okay you have eight of wands six of cups so again this could talk about putting a halt to something again with that past energy um having to do with someone that you've shared a lot of history with um, I feel like you're moving away from it. I feel like you're moving away from something where there's a long-standing history, um, but there's also a lot of conflict. And you're no longer wanting to be in that energy. You're wanting to move out of that energy. Which is crazy because at the bottom of your deck, right, you have Eight of Cups, which pretty much wraps up the whole reading. Is You're moving on. You're moving from something that you've had history with. You put a lot of work into... Um, this could be the place you live, the people you're involved with, the job. You're moving forward, okay? Um, because you're you're not emotionally happy or satisfied in your current situation, and you've made a decision. Again, a card of dissatisfaction. What else is back here? This is a card of movement, wanting to move forward, wanting to move on, but being very hesitant about it, not being 100% sure. Here again, not being sure about your movement. Or continuing on with something. There's your energy again with that Queen of Swords. And then, and then another Ace. So I didn't mention this in your video. I should have. But all of the Zodiac signs, I think except for Libra, got these cards in their reading. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. And I was telling you at the beginning that June is like a month of new opportunities. Like every Zodiac sign is moving into like some new opportunity, new change, new start. And they're embracing it, but I feel like here you guys are either not embracing it or it's not coming to fruition as quickly as you would like it. But that's the energy I'm getting for it, the way Capricorn is dealing with it. And we'll get some advice to see how you can better handle it. But the overall outcome is star in reverse. So again, being like, not being so hopeful about the future. Why is the star here? As the overall outcome yeah see not being hopeful about the future feeling like um, you're gonna struggle or you're in, a, in another stage of struggle now it's like you moved out of struggle to get back into another stage of struggle or what you perceive to be struggle because you don't have faith there goes the hairpin again you don't have faith that things are gonna come together Okay, camera cut out, but it was the star again in reverse. So like I was saying, not having too much hope or faith towards the future. Um, let's see one more. How many fives do you have? One, two, there was a five, another five here. Yeah, see, five to me, I'll put the meaning of five, 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 because I'm seeing a lot of fives in your reading. And it's like you go up and down. You're, you're, you're worried about struggling. You're worried about hard times. Things go really well. But then it's like an up and down thing. And you've made a decision. But it's almost like you're going from one period, like I was saying, of struggle to the next. Where you're coming out of something that was stressful for you. But the new phase that you're entering is just as stressful to you as you perceive it. It's just as stressful as the, pa the phase you came out of. One more for the overall outcome. The Capricorn. Yeah, you see? Here comes this card again. A lot of cards came out, but look at this. This is all about balance and struggle, fighting, defending yourself. Okay, you want to bring balance to this situation. You're tired of struggling. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of, again, like I'm saying, defending yourself. From a person or from whatever the case may be or just tired of struggling period you want things to balance out you want things to be justified balance here with the scale he's holding the scale here as well 
the two scales. So you want things to be balanced. That's your ultimate goal. You want peace. Like I was saying, you want tranquility. You want things to be calm and move forward in a good direction. So let's get some advice for you. Actually, let's do let's do love first. I always do this for all the zodiac signs. So I don't, you know, let's see what's going on pretty much. We'll use the, the um, romance angels. And let's see what's going on for Capricorns in love. All right, so this will just be like a little mini reading that'll give you um, advice and what's happening in love in general for singles and those in relationships. So what's going on for Capricorns, single Capricorns in the month of June when it comes to love? You have flirt. It says extend your lighthearted energy to others. So again, for you guys, um, if you're coming out of a situation that was stressful for you um, or, or a period of struggle, it's telling you to have a more lighthearted energy, especially if you're trying to meet new people. You want to be out there. You want to be flirty. You want to um, not bring this anxiety and stress along with you. And I feel like that's why a lot of Capricorns are leaving that behind. They've made a decision to do something else or to move in a different direction. What about Capricorns in relationships? So let's see advice, okay? Children. It says children are affecting your love life. Could be. <laughs> could be. You could be having issues or battles, court battles as well. For some of you uh, who are involved with people with children, or you're like step parents as well, you could be having issues like that. You could be feeling like it's hope it's hopeless because there's this constant battle, this constant back and forth that is affecting your relationship when it comes to like the baby mother or the baby father. One more Capricorns and relationships. What are the messages? Make the effort. Again, more children. It says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to. So you may need to fight a little bit more. Make the effort. If the relationship is important to you, make the effort. But there's a lot of fight here, a lot of struggle. But I see that coming out, coming um, easing up in the month of June, okay? And then again with the children. So I feel like there will be an ease to the tension. If there was tension before, or a lot of arguing or, or court situations, that's going to ease up in the month of June. Okay, and then the last card I'm going to pull, we're going to use um, this deck. It's from the Wisdom of the Golden Path. And this is just going to be general advice. What does universe want Capricorns to know in general in the month of June? So this is your advice, what your guardian angels with the universe wants you to know in general for the month of June 2018. Let's do one more shuffle. And with this deck, a lot of times I, um, I read from the book because I like what the book has to say. So I'll do a little bit intuitively and then I'll read the message that the card represents. Okay, so what does Universe want Capricorn to know in the month of June 2018? What does Universe... What was that on? Creativity. Creativity. We'll read this one for sure. You're definitely going to have to get creative in the month of June because I feel like a lot of changes are happening. A lot of big decisions need to be made. And um, with creativity, you're going to have to really think on your feet and be able to manifest what it is that you want out of situations that you may feel is hopeless or you may feel is not justified or going in your, your favor. But let's read what creativity is, okay? It says, the artist within you wants to emerge and you will soon feel a strong urge to express yourself creatively. Your inner artist will lead you to explore new and exciting projects and ideas. Expressing yourself creatively will also help balance your emotions and improve your general well-being. This is a time to be authentic, a time to discover the real you and to connect to the little child within you. Oh, okay. So maybe that's why the children card came up um, you may discover that there is so more so much more to life than you were previously conditioned to believe honor your feelings and emotions and allow your imagination to 
journey through the infinite space that is... Sorry, guys, I can read. <laughs> journey through the infinite space that is at the heart of the creative universe. Try to express all you feel without reservation, censorship, or judgment. You are doing this for you and no one else. Amazing ideas and inspirations will filter through into your mind and heart, ideas and impulses that stem from your core, essence, or soul. It is possible for you to manifest what your heart has long desired. You are restricted only by what you think is possible. You will develop a greater trust in yourself and have confidence in your own thoughts and feelings. Wow. It says, know that you have a solid foundation to rely upon, for Mother Earth will always support you. So like I was saying, a lot of you guys are, are, make, are moving away from your current situation and seeing what else is out there for you. You're feeling drawn to take a new direction, take a new leap. But you guys have to start to build that trust. Trust in your um, intuition. Trust in your desire. Trust in your creativity. Trust in what messages you're getting as far as like what you need to do going forward. If you're unhappy in your current situation and you feel like there's more out there for you, maybe this is the time that you should be exploring those options and seeing what else is is there for you so you're not stifling your creativity or holding yourself back from the kind of life that you want to create okay so still in all capricorn even though there's a lot going on for you guys i still think june is a good month because like i was saying you're being very proactive you are making the decisions you're no longer letting things overwhelm you and that's always good but you're gonna have to build that confidence in yourself and in the choices that you've made and the direction that you're going to be going in because it, it's going to be brand new. It's going to be kind of life-changing, but for the better. Okay, Capricorn? So if this resonated with you, you want to do a private reading, the link will be in my description. And I will see you guys in the next video.